Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of FS Passengers. We are here in Juno still. We're about to leave. We gotta, we're got going to go up to Fairbanks, which is a much longer flight than what we've been doing. It's about uh, 500 some miles. Uh, I've got Fairbanks X installed, so that should be nice. We'll see the airport up there. One thing is... Well, even on the route that we're going, you ha there are obviously a bunch of mountains, and I'm not sure how exactly we're going to get there. Technically, we, because I screwed up the payload model, which I still can't figure out how to edit, uh, I have it set as our aircraft is pressurized, even though it really isn't. Like I said, I can't figure out. I just searched again exactly how to do that, and I'm, I, I can't tell because I can't find the actual payload model that we used. I'm not sure which one it is, so uh, I can't edit it. Uh, I'll try to say below 12,000, 12,500, something like that, because I think that's uh, about the max without oxygen. So I'll try to do that just uh, for more reality, but I'm not sure that you actually can. Uh, there are some high mountains. If we can fly down in the valleys a little bit lower, I'll try, uh, but we'll see how we can do. So let's go up here. Got our full eight, full... Uh... There we go. There we go. I don't know why I wouldn't do that. Okay, so I'm going to put the fuel back at 50%. This thing can go about 1,000 miles, actually. So we're using about a quarter, but I like to have more fuel just to be on the safe side. I think it's always a good idea. In these planes, um, I can actually put a, still a lot of, of, a lot of freaking cargo in here. this on the back. I'll even accept that. Uh, oops, put 388 in each. That should be more than enough fuel. Default 4 to 10 seater aircraft. That's what we're in. Default 4 to 10 seater aircraft. Cancel this real quick. Uh, jeez. I'm an FS recorder, that's why I can't find anything. Um, utility, create, edit, payload, model. Set default 4 to 10. All right, load existing. It said default 4 to 10. Now these are, yeah, so we want to go to default. 4 to 10. Well, damn. Is it this? I guess it would be this one. Seat, helicopter, jet. We don't have a jet. So it's got to be this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? We just found it and now it won't let us do it. I wonder why it won't... Well, can we not... Def oh, maybe it's because we can't do default ones. Uh, because then it wouldn't be default. Um, VIP first class... We shouldn't actually do this then. This just got a lot harder. Well, this is going to be a lot harder. So let's just go ahead and use what we've got for at least now, because this is just too much. We'd have to go. I'd have to go back and look at all kinds of stuff. So, all right, we'll look at this in a little bit. I don't even understand. Oh well, that's because it's not the fault. So let's just use what we have for this time, and maybe I can, by the next time, I can actually get it done. So let's just go on back. All right, so let's go up here. We'll start this again. All right. So let's move this back down. I'm going to put it like 58. See if we can get the same amount of cargo and stuff. Of course, the passengers have changed, and their weights have changed. Maybe we can get 400 in each? I don't know. Let's see what happens if we move this down to 400. Oh, it'll take it. Alright, I just now saw that. Um, so, we'll... I wonder if that's even right. I'll, after this, I'll go and look at... Oh, we're not doing aerobatic. What am I doing? I'll go ahead and try and set that to what we need it to. 
Hatha. Destination set. All right. Load it immediately. Make sure we got our Check people. Flight control. Check and set. All right. I'm gonna move this up to the top. Put your seatbelts on, folks. By the way, it's morning. It's like 10:30, I think. Um, in the sim, it looks kind of dark. Don't worry, this is not a night flight. I'm not flying through the mountains of Alaska at night. That's for damn sure. All right. Turn on the fuel selectors. Cause see, we do have oxygen, which I guess we would need. I don't just don't know. I don't know. Look we'll to see if it works. Turn on the nav battery. Left alternator, fuel pumps, the primer. Come on, girl. Left up. Apparently, I have both of those on. I don't. Maybe I clicked that at the beginning. I don't know. Right alternator. Oh, now the right fuel pump, primer. Move that all the way up. The fuel pump off. Avionics, pedo heat, stall heat. I'm gonna turn that on just while we're taxing. As soon as we're ready to take off, because I don't I really don't know if we need that or not. Right, move it over to the train. Let's hit up ETC. Uh, we're basically, I guess, going out to the west. No, that's more north, I think, than west, actually. Twenty six. All right, acknowledge that. There are progressive taxi. I'll set this to 10,000. Just in case, uh, let's go ahead with the taxi light. Parking brake comes off. Let me get my yoke back. There we go. Parking brake is off. Okay, that's gonna take me through the grass. That's why I was looking at it. It was like, I don't think so. I'll turn before that. What is up with that? I don't know what that was. Looks like there's a plane on top of another plane. Just very quickly, what was that? Oh, that's some funky, funky, funky plane. The engine on top. I have no idea what that is. What kind of plane that is. It's kind of crazy looking. There's another plane, similar or helicopter, similar to. This looks exactly like that uh, one we saw in Port Hardy. And I was surprised Fairbanks, man, they've got, it's an international airport, but they've actually got like a, some bigger airlines. Like there's a weekly flight on um, uh, Condor going from Fairbanks to, I think, Frankfurt, clear over in Germany. I thought that was kind of crazy. Like Fairbanks, Alaska to Germany, that's got to be a, that's a long, long flight. I mean, you got, if you go to the east, you got to go all the way through Canada, basically over Canada, over the over the freaking Atlantic and then over into Germany like that's one hell of a long flight and I guess that almost has to be the way you'd go you wouldn't want to go to West because you well you'd have to go all the way through Russia and then over to Germany I don't know if that would be quick or not but I mean every week from Fairbanks clear but I think that's also only during the summer so I guess you're shuttling tourists around but I thought 
It's kind of crazy how many uh, airlines and stuff they got and how many flights they do. I was kind of surprised by that. Fairbanks is way out there. As you can see there's snow on the ground. I can't remember if it was snowing here when we came here last time or not. Uh, the last flight I did in FS Passenger was right here. was about a week ago. Let's see if we can actually take this one. There should be more than enough room. Bring up ATC here. Tower. Requests our clearance. Zero tower, Juliet, Yankee 701 at runway 26. Ready for takeoff. Departure to the north. Juliet, Yankee 701. Clear for takeoff. Runway 26. Departure to the north. Approved. Ah, couldn't get it. Uh, alright. Clear for takeoff. Why runway won't you come down here? Oh no, not doing us you. Come on. There we go. I don't know why I couldn't get it the first time. Alright. Flaps. Landing lights. Anti-collision lights. Pull on to the runway. Gotta remember to turn the anti-ice off real quick. Well, it's, there's no, it's not snowing or anything, so I don't know if we would have actually needed it anyway. It, it doesn't seem like we have as much room as I thought. I keep going past this line. I'm so used to flying the 777. I keep doing that. Oops, wrong buttons. There we go. Anti-ice is off. I just turn this, all this stuff off. How did I... Make sure we got this all on. Alright. Suddenly this is off. Alright, now it's back on. I couldn't get the switches. Alright. Let's go ahead and get on out of here. It doesn't seem like there's as much runway as I thought there would be. I think we'll still be alright. 80 knots. 90. And 100. Go ahead and get up and out of here. More than enough. Gears coming up. We should probably turn so we don't hit that uh, hill. Go ahead and retract the flaps. I'm going to use the GPS, but I don't know that we can really use the autopilot GPS if we're going up in these mountains. Like I said, I'm going to try and follow some valleys uh, if we can. For the first part, there really isn't I don't know if there really is, but uh, at least halfway through or so, it seems too. F there seems to be a big. I don't know if it's a plateau or a valley or what that we can uh, fly down in. Put that nose down a little bit. We need to climb, but I don't want to climb too fast. Kill that airspeed. Climbing up to 1500 again. Come on now. Her airspeed is pretty good, even still, but dang on. It's just too much. I do 
do want to get over this little hill. I was trying to go to the right, but I'm trying to mess with this daggone trim at the same time. I think we're going to be fine. We're going to clear it. But if you look over it here, once you get over here, everything is... You could have some problems. You can't really fly over the coast. It's not going to help you to fly over the coast, by the way. Because uh, eventually you're going to have to come... If Fairbanks is well within... You know, it's not near the coast like Juno is. So then you're going to have to go over mountains still at the same time. bring this over. I don't see any huge mountains that, except over here. Use the heading. See, like, I, we can't go over this daggone mountain. Technically, well... We're at 3,000 feet right now. I guess we'll tell till when we get there exactly high how the mount, high how how high the mountains are. If I can speak. This place is so low, but I think there are mountains in the back. Hop outside and take a look at the scenery. Because eventually this is going to end, but these mountains don't seem so high. It seems like we should be able to get over these real easily. I was looking at Flight Sim Commander and uh, at the minimum safe altitudes, and uh, they were pretty high up in uh, certain areas, I should say. We can climb to 10,000 or so. I just hate that weather is going to be crappy up there. Let's hit the nav. We'll let that follow it. By the way, the distance here, 531. So it is a long ways. Click off the taxi light. We couldn't quite clear those just yet, but hell, we're only at 5,000 feet. So if we go up to 10 or so, I think we'd be fine. I actually like it when it switches colors like that. It's reloading. If I knew more how to use that, it'd be pretty nice. So you could use the heading and come over and fly through here, but I'm not sure how much that would help you. You could actually get even further if you came up here. But by then we'll be up to 10,000 feet and we might be able to clear these mountains. Another thing is, do we want to be at 10,000 feet and be up in the uh, clouds and everything? Thinning this out. Like I say, we can go as high as we want with this airplane, is because the way we accidentally set it up. I just would like to keep it a little more realistic. Plus, it makes it a little bit harder as well. Notice our pressure's a little high. I'm gonna pull back just a little bit. There we go. Keep it in the green. FS passengers will. <laughs> Cause some problems for you. Does have failures and stuff like that. Last thing we want is any failures, especially around here. Where are you gonna land? Here in the, the middle of freaking nowhere. In Alaska. We probably won't survive. Although we're close enough to Juno, they get us. Now it's in the yellow, so it should be we should be pretty good, I think. If we go up to around 
Maybe we stay at, uh, at 10,000, we are going to be up in these clouds. And that's going to be crap for our visibility and everything. What do you say we stop around 8,500? We are going to the west. I guess we are going more west than north. I thought it was further to the north, but I was wrong, obviously. So we can. We're on the evens. So we can do 8,500 feet. So we got a little bit of yellow over here, so we can go around that if need be. Airspeed was dropping a little bit there. I don't know why that happened either. We're going to level off here at 8,500. We're just below the clouds, which is nice. Alright, 8,500. Gonna thin it out just a little more. So our airspeed is increasing nicely. You can see the tops of the mountains. We're not, it's not like we're way above these things at all. But if need be, we can always switch over and uh, go around. Looks like we should be in the clear. That's the thing with the clouds. You can't really see the top of the mountains, though. Does the yellow mean watch out, or does the yellow mean you're gonna hit them? Because <laughs> you can see it right, right over here. Let's see what happens. Speed it up just a little bit, get closer, and then uh, let's we see how it happens. I think we're going over them. Uh, then I'll speed up to four x because we do have a. Still got over 500 miles to go. It looks like we're just going to go right over them. You see the clouds? We can't see those mountains that uh, show up red over there. I think we're in the clear. Not, not by much. Look at look at how close we are. Look how close we are to something like that and over here. And right here. I think and right here. I think we better go up a little bit. Let's go up to 9,000. I just don't want, I want to stay out of the damn clouds. So you got to worry about icing conditions and all that. Plus the weather, the winds get really bad in this plane when we go up there. I don't know that we're high enough to get over something like that. Now, this has us in the clear, but I don't know about that. Almost to 9,500. Don't want to go much higher. We'll be in the damn clouds. We're about to be in the clouds, actually. Over here, though, it has us in the clear. I don't believe that at all. There's no way we're gonna hit those at this altitude. Okay, go to the right. 
But then there you got those. We, I don't know if we can go around it. hear this engine right there. I guess she was icing up, so there we go. Put on the de-icer for sure. Although she, act, she worked a little too quick. But alright. See, that's why I wanted to stay out of the clouds. I don't know if, if we should really have to use it or... Because I'm not sure exactly when you have to use it. I turn it on from time to time, and that's exactly why. Some snow on the mountains, but then not. I don't quite get that. I think we're just going to barely scoot over these mountains. Alright, it looks like we are. Alright, so everything looks pretty good for, for now. We're 486 out. I'll go ahead and speed it up and be back in just a little bit.
All right, everybody, cut back in. I'm gonna switch it to normal for a second. About 24 miles out, we're at 6,500 feet. We need to get down a little bit quicker. We also need to hit up ATC. Oops, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Here's the airport list. I'm surprised these are closer. EPA FA, here we go, Fairbanks. Oh, I'm surprised we had a bunch of closer. They must have been little smaller landing strips or something. We'll stop landing. Two left. See, it seems like right base would mean you go to the right. I don't, I don't, still I'm confused by that. I look it up every once in a while because I know I'm confused about that. Almost sure right base means you come around from the right. I could be wrong. All right, there is. I, I think there is ILS for two left. Let's go to the map. It's been a pretty fun flight. Uh, here we go, Fairbanks International. Yeah, two left. There's a water landing as well. One o nine point one. 109.1 Okay, so let's go down here. Let's change this real quick. 109.1, switch that up. Alright, let's level off lecture. Let's We'll keep on going down. I was going to go to 4,500, but now that we're so close, like 16 miles out or so. So we need to keep on going down. Also going to go ahead and put our taxi light on. We're almost to the yellow. I haven't heard my co-pilot say anything about crossing 10,000 feet. He always comes on and says when we're crossing 10,000 feet, either climbing or descending. He hasn't said anything. He hasn't said anything this whole flight. We were just skimming. Well, now that I think sometimes the range changes on that as well. That's why it shows that. We were really skimming over some mountains, though. We, I ended up going up to 10.5 just to make sure we got over everything, you know. It was kind of, I don't know, it wasn't too bad. Our airspeed kept uh, falling down to like 140, though. I think that was mainly due to wind and everything. Although we can't tell in this plane where the wind is coming from. Is zero one two. That's about where it would, would be. So look at that. Although we are coming getting lower to the ground as well. I forgot about that part. I'm gonna go ahead and level out. The elevation of the airport I know is like 400 and some feet. So if we were at 2,500, we'd only be about 2,000 feet above. I want to be a little bit higher than that. Although, look at the ridge. We can't go out all that far, can we? Right 
We're not all that... Well, I guess... If I move this down again... Here's the approach. The ILS. So I think we're pretty much right where we need to be. see anything yet. I wonder if the textures are going to be winter or if, it, if I just didn't change it. I think it auto does it automatically, but I'm not sure. there or not. I guess it, that could be the water one, actually. It said there's a lake. I'm not sure if it's, like, a lake. I don't know. Because there's so many different planes that, you know, fly in Alaska. I don't know if it's, like, is it a real lake and they put it right beside it, or do they actually make that themselves to say, hey, we can accept these kind of planes here. Slow down. well so we can see anything coming up we're six miles out there's our runway right there one out a little bit To left. Still need to get over. I'm gonna go ahead and take over. Oops. Make sure that we are at normal speed. Oh. I have to put up for that for one for one, for one second. I need to get my gear out. There we go. My nacho flaps. Ended up way off course. We need to get down. That seems to be a common thing with my flights. I need to get down. Always coming a little too high. Trim this thing a little better. All right, out come the flaps, full flaps. Oh, that two right seems to be a nice one as well. I didn't know if like two right was going to be like a, a more of a dirt type one, and two left just be the main asphalt. But no, it's actually quite nice. Just slightly high now. Man, I'm try I gotta like trim the hell out of it. Just doesn't want to. Alright, we're on the glide path now. I've almost got it trimmed. It just keeps wanting to fall. There we go. It's much better. A little low now. I keep trying to trim it back up.
on down. Yeah, by the way, there's some weather. Uh, I, th I don't know if it was rain or snow exactly, but I uh, kind of got the passengers freaked out, so we're limited to 98. Let's try and I didn't know if we were going to make it or not. I actually let off the brakes for one second because I thought we were slowing down enough, but no. I think it was kind of far out with the brakes, man. It doesn't break that well. All right, we'll acknowledge that. So I'm gonna get my uh, landing lights off and strobe off. Uh, go, no, screw it, we'll go to the gates, I don't know. Giving me too many options. Oh my God, I switched the wrong one. I'm glad I checked it out, but they probably just dinged us. Oh, why did I do that? Oh, I didn't have this up all the way up either. So much going on, and then I think about it after the fact. Text is on. Oops. Oh, I hit the nav instead of the anti collision. I bet they ding us. Alright. Very quickly. That's I keep hitting the wrong stuff, man. All of a sudden. Anti ice is all off. Alright. Why I gotta keep clicking the wrong stuff all of a sudden? Hello, Fairbanks. I didn't see the town. I don't know that I was looking that much for the town, but yeah, I didn't really see the town. Oh, come on, no planes here? That's a bunch of BS. I have Alaska Airlines. There's another. I can't tell. Oh, what was the name of that? I'm not even sure I'd ever heard of it. Uh, it was a smaller one. They small. They fly car uh, caravans, stuff like that. I think it said they had a Dash 8. Um, they've got some different smaller planes as well. More commuter type planes. But I was surprised. I thought that it said their fleet size. Not Alaska Airlines. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the one I can't remember off the top of my head. If you search uh, Fairbanks on Wikipedia, you can see the airlines and stuff. And, uh, Man, you you put yeah. What the hell? I was gonna go around you when you blocked my taxiway, my taxi line. But they had like a big fleet, and I was really surprised by that. Alaska Airlines is there. Uh, Condor is there. It's not Condor, is it? The one I was already talking about. Maybe it was. I don't know. I I started to talk about it, and I forget exactly what it was. Yeah, well, I think that jet weighs a little high. We should have really gotten to the parking, but hey. We got a guy leading us in <laughs> in this small plane. Tell me when to stop, buddy. This is ridiculous. I think my wing has already clipped the uh, jetway. I don't want to go any closer. I know he's telling me to, but we're going to start hitting stuff because we're a small plane. Surprised our wing didn't hit that. So we're just gonna ignore him. Yoke is off. Parking brake on. Turn our taxi light off. Fuel's off. Turn the tanks off. Open up the door. The nav can come off. All this off. All right, probably got some penalties now. Not happy, but it's a 500 mile flight. That might be our longest flight ever in FS passengers. We should get paid quite well with our other planes too. Should be pretty good. Come on, everybody. That's cool, you can hear the train. All right, they're all out. I'm gonna go ahead and close the door. All right, 
items in this flight. 539 nautical miles time, airborne 2 hours 43 minutes 15 seconds. Flight time 2 hours 52 minutes and 29 seconds. Time on the ground 12 minutes, average speed 198 knots. Climb time 754, uh, cruise time exactly 2 hours and 20 minutes. Average cruise speed 204 knots. Sent time 1521, landing speed 86.94 knots, landing touchdown 60 feet a minute kiss, landing pitch 2.03 degrees, landing weight 7570, total fuel use 873, climb fuel use 49, cruise fuel used 751 pounds, that's 321 pounds an hour, descent fuel used 72 pounds. Very good flight, professionally done 98%, even though it should be 100%, I, I don't know why the weather gets to ding me like that. Ticket income 2,801, cargo income 1,089, that's actually more than I thought it would be. Uh, nothing for the service or anything. We used exactly 500 bucks in fuel, 7 for the airport taxes, 168 in insurance, total income 3,215. Times 50 gives us 160, plus 3 aircraft gives us 211, that makes us 372,000 for the flight. That is by far the most we've ever made. That, don't, that almost pays off. It's got to be close to paying off at least one of those planes. Because we've got some cheaper ones. If not, we've it's almost got to have paid off one. Uh, since we bought them, at least. Considering that the flight was very good, the ticket price is good. Passengers uh, thought we should be 98%. That's an increase of 0.14% to 96.64. Overall flight result, perfect. Yes, we didn't get dinged. Pilot bonus points, very 16, very good land, smooth landing, 50, good flight, no problem, satisfied passenger, was 130 for the right airport, long flight, 2 hours, 43 minutes, without time, using time acceleration, without any problems, and satisfied passengers, 136. Just got dinged 50 for the beacon. Screw you, beacon, but 372, we've never made that anywhere near that. So that's really, really good for us. Like I say, since we bought those planes, at least one of them has been paid off, and we've got, what, three? That we bought so very very nice take a look out here there's a lot going on isn't there I really really like the airport I especially like the runways with those lights like that there's not much in the parking lot is there I wonder if I turn traffic up well no because that doesn't control traffic Traffic doesn't control. It. Oh, there's Fairbanks in, in the background. And to the right. Looks really nice. The traffic on. Cars coming through. That's very, very nice. And it includes some, around, some surrounding scenery. I'm not sure exactly what it. Uh, it, it the town and stuff. Probably. I don't think it's just the airport. Like I said, I know it does do some surrounding scenery as well. And it's compatible with stuff like UTX Alaska, which I have. I don't use it, obviously, because I'm using Orbex stuff. Now it is, wow, that changed. <laughs> All right. We'll get back in our plane. It was weird how the time of the day or the how that changed that was very uh, very odd all right well everybody that's gonna be it for this flight i uh, hope you all enjoyed it and i will catch you guys on the next flight